Well, <laughs> I haven't done this in probably a dozen years, but I can't wait to get out and do what we're doing today. It's middle of May 2019, last day of the sturgeon season here on the Rainy River. And whenever I've come up here, I've always been doing a lot of walleye fishing. And so I always wanted to make a point to get back up here and sturgeon fish. And we're with Chris Zahn from Rainy Days Guide Service. Sounds like the fish have been biting, but this is just a really cool, unique fishing opportunity here in the Midwest. Today <laughs> is gonna be a good day. It is, I'm looking forward to this a lot. You can see them jumping all over the place. First time out with this new boat, haven't even got rod holders rigged up. I saw them waiting on the splash guards and I'm gonna put a talon on the back. And so I feel like we're forgetting something, but we're just gonna go out and fish. Just a really cool opportunity to come out here in the spring, catch a really old fish that grows really big. <laughs> it's gonna be cool. So that trail there, Yep. We're gonna to try to line up that trail with that little boat hose or whatever that pump hose it is. Okay. So we wanna kinda of just line it up right there. That's where we wanna be. So basically what we got here is just a big weight, the big rod, big swivels, circle hook on this. So they kinda of set themselves. We also got about 60 pound tests on here. Basically we're using some night crawlers and we gob them right up on the hooks but almost as many as we can on each hook, right around three, four of them. I hook them right up like this, loop them, melt like that. End result, big fish. All there is to it on the bottom. Now we wait. So a lot of times we just sit here and we watch these rod tips. You know, sometimes it can be a subtle bite where they just kind of tap. Otherwise, they might even kind of hit it and take off with it, but it's not like your quick walleye bite that just grabs it and bam, slams it. A big sturgeon have big lips on them and they come and they just suck them right off the bottom. Oh, right here, right here, right here. Got her. That didn't take long. You take a big river fish like that and put them in this current, just love the, just the strength. Oh yeah, she's getting bigger. <laughs> Misleading in the current. There he's getting a little bigger. Yeah, keep her out of the anchor rope here. This is probably one of the coolest, most unique fishing opportunities. Oh, look at her go. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. This current is strong and this fish just swims wherever it wants to. This is what it means to be hooked up. We got sturgeon jumping around us. Sturgeon on. Half hour show, we might burn it up in one fish, huh? You know what's cool about this is they all feel great at the current. Even the smaller ones could put up a battle. But, oh yeah. Oh. Look at that. Come on. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> Ready, Chris? Yep. All right. Right back in yeah. there. <laughs> All right. Nice job. All right. <laughs> awesome. Awesome job. All right, first fish of the day. That's a great start. Oh yeah. They are just such a cool fish. Look at their eyes and their mouth. All right, get her in the water here. Oh my. That's a dinosaur right there. There she goes. Back to the abyss. <laughs> hey, that was awesome. Nice job. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get another one, huh? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure, that was cool. You know what's so incredible about sturgeon fishing is it allows freshwater anglers in the Midwest to just catch a really big fish. I mean, what, what else can you catch? Where else can you go, you know, to experience a, a fight like that? I mean, I've caught big muskies. I've caught a lot of fish that fought hard, but nothing like a sturgeon where a, a single fish will take over a half an hour to land. And that's using 60 pound braid. That's using, you know, some pretty 
heavy terminal tackle. I mean, the power these fish have, there's nothing quite like it. Jason Mitchell Outdoors is brought to you by these industry leaders. You can't choose the weather, but you can choose to dress for it. Introducing Blackfish Performance Rain Gear. Utilizing patented event technology, this advanced membrane allows body heat and vapors to escape while offering 100% waterproof protection with an exceptional combination of waterproof and breathability ratings. Blackfish Rain Gear keeps you dry all day. Whether on the tournament trail or chasing weekend walleyes, choose Blackfish because you can't choose the weather. From the makers of the legendary Salmo Hornet, meet the new Salmo Freediver 9. Capable of reaching depths over 25 feet, the Freediver has set the new standard for deep diving walleye crankbaits. See that Freediver, that fish just, just mugged that bait. Individually handcrafted, tank tested, and tuned by Salmo artisans, every Salmo lure produces perfect action every time. Catch more fish with the new Salmo Freediver 9. You've waited all winter for this. We can't wait either. Durability, style, fishing, and recreation makes the Crestliner Super Hawk and Sportfish models the perfect new addition to your family. Packed with the fishing features that combine angling with a stylish, full-service recreational boat that will satisfy the entire family. Built with Crestliner's industry-leading all-welded aluminum hull construction with the finish and accessories for maximum enjoyment on the water. Crestliner, forged with strength, defined by durability. So in the springtime, a lot of these sturgeon that are in Lake of the Woods, they'll run up the Rainy River. Then obviously there's a population of sturgeon that live in the Rainy River. And you know, there's a lot of different you know, types of spots, fish them, you know, you can fish them in holes early in the year. But the neat thing about this is sometimes in the spring, when some of these tributaries open up and the water gets really muddy and there's a lot of debris in the water, these sturgeon will bite. And so a lot of the things that'll shut the walleye fishing down is actually good for sturgeon, but it's probably truly some of the best lake sturgeon fishing you're gonna find. I mean, it's there's not a lot of places where you can fish for them. And so even on the Rainy River here, you can only fish on the Minnesota side. I grew up on this river and it was, wasn't too long ago. It seemed like these sturgeon numbers were down and they ended up putting a slot limit in here of 45 to 50 inches. And when they did that, just like the slot limits on the lakes and stuff like that with the walleyes, it turned them around and they came around and all of a sudden these 20, 30 inch fish grew up and they, they, they came in the system and now this system is loaded with 50 to 60 inch fish. With the slot limit being 45 to 50, that these 50 to 60 inch fish, as many as they are, makes for a good day out here to catch these fish and, you know, always have an opportunity to get one. <gasps> that That's is a, a fish. fish. That's a fish. Fill that a thing up. Fish. This is a nice fish. Yeah. He hit that thing on the way down. He's just sitting in that current. That looks like a big fish there. Wow. Just love the, just the strength. You know, we've been fishing just this morning here, just an hour. We've already had two fish hooked up. We've missed a couple other bites. I mean, this is pretty fast action for sturgeon fishing. I mean, I think most people would fish all day for one fish like this. This is a special deal. I'm gonna pull the anchor up. Let's do that right there. All right, I'm gonna pull the anchor up here. I just don't wanna get it caught and then have it messed up okay. on this thing. Let's get this out of the way and just land this fish. I imagine some of these fish you never do see. <laughs> the biggest sturgeon in this river, I think, could live a long time and never get caught. Ruin a lot of people's day, a lot of heartbreaks. I've had a few of those. Fight them for 45 minutes and don't ever see him, but you know he's big. And yeah. then all of a sudden it just comes unbuttoned. And what do you do? Cry. <laughs> <laughs> I got both hands and my arms are sore. <laughs> They're burning. Like ocean fishing. <laughs> Look at the line peeling off the yeah, reel. It's just I mean, coming just... off. He's just swimming, going where he wants to go. These drags are set pretty tight, too. They are. <laughs> it's like you need them tight sometimes to get them to tire them out because they're such a powerful fish. This is the International Falls workout program. Huh? <laughs> Looks like I need to do it more because <laughs> I'm getting wore out. <laughs> 
When it does come up, I'm gonna have you come behind me. I'll try to slide yep. forward because yep. that current will push it into the net. Yeah. It's a big fish. My arms are burning. <laughs> It's kind of working its way down to my back now. <laughs> Look at that thing. I can't even move him. He doesn't even want to lift off. Yeah. <laughs> Both hands. Look at. <laughs> when I yeah. lift up, I lose drag. <laughs> he doesn't even want to come off. Holy Crank cow. five times, lose 10. <laughs> this is amazing. Well, this makes a person's whole day. Whole year. Well, it might take all day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they did. It makes a person's day, but it takes all day. This might be the biggest fish I've ever had hooked up. Take this long on sturgeon gear like this? Unless that current is ripping so bad that. Now, this is a special fish, there's no doubt about that. Oh, there's yeah. a sinker. Oh, yeah. Oh, there. my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Come behind this me. This is an incredible Come fish. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that dinosaur? How big is that? Oh my goodness. Look at that fish. One man is not oh, going to yeah. lift that fish out of the net. You want to bet? I'm going to get this <laughs> thing. <laughs> oh, this is incredible. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. oh. <laughs> Look at that beast! <laughs> hey, you know what we're not gonna do? We're not gonna hold this out to make anything look big when we got big fish yeah. like this. We're just trying in survival mode Whoa. right now. <laughs> that is amazing, huh? All right, ready? All right. Oh, oh my gosh, she's still mad. <laughs> <laughs> There's no stopping her. That thing weighed a lot. <laughs> Slime it. <laughs> Slime it. <laughs> that was uh, the biggest fish that's ever been in my boat. <laughs> yeah, the biggest fish has been in my boat, too. <laughs> oh. That fish, that had to have been upper 60s fish. We never measured it, you know, but I've been around them long enough that I can kind of guess. Weighed a lot. It was a big fat one. That one had a lot of girth. Sometimes they get skinnier, but when they get the girth, they get the bigger ones. They're old. They grow fast and then they kind of plateau and it takes them a lot longer to grow big like that. So it, um, that was a lot of years. That was a big fish. So I love fishing the rainy river in the spring. People can complain about the lines, the vehicles going all the way out to the highway, you know, but there's a reason there's so many people out here at times and the fishing's that good and everybody's out here for the same reason. This is a good one here, Chris. Good fit? Yep, I'm gonna turn the boat here. This is a dandy here. Oh, oh wow. Oh, 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 what, a, what a way to start, huh? Go ahead, just put her right in the water so she'll get beat up. That is, that is a pig there. We've been coming out here for the last few years for the Rainy River Run, which is put on by Rainy Days Guide Service, and just a really cool event where it combines great education with just a lot of the tips from a lot of the guides that are on their team, and it's just a great way to learn the river in a hurry, get a lot of great information, a lot of good intel, come out here and catch some fish, and obviously, you know, you get a good group of people together, the camaraderie is a lot of fun as well. There's been some years where we just hit it where when you put it in the rainy river and you can see your prop before the walleye season closes, you're gonna catch a lot of fish. And so we've seen the good and the bad up here. You know, if you fish this enough, you're gonna get on both sides of that fence. But when I've been coming up here walleye fishing, you know, one thing that I've wanted to do for a long time now is get back up here and sturgeon fish. And we finally made it happen. So the circle luck, when they come up there and they grab these worms, and they come up right with a mouth like this. And when they grab it, it actually turns and you can hook it and you hook it right on the side of the mouth. It just protects the fish, you know, they're not getting way down in there and they're getting right in that cartilage of the mouth. It doesn't hurt the fish one bit. These circle hooks, I think, are really the key thing. Oh, here's a bite, here's a bite. Yep, grab it. Real. That's a fish. Yep. That's a fish. You know, for sturgeon fishing, this has been pretty fast action. It's, you know, we're averaging over a fish an hour, which is pretty incredible. How's it feel, bud? Oh, wonderful. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you that again in 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so when it's spinning like that, what I'll do is I'll just kind of thumb it to hold it, and then instead of keep trying to adjust that and stuff, and, but don't obviously put too much pressure on it when you need to, you know? Yeah. If it starts slowing down, you can start putting a little more on it, because you gotta do something to tire these things out. 
Now remember, I'm gonna come behind you with the net, so when yep, hold. it does get tired out, which we're gonna have time yet, step down here and I'm gonna come behind you and we're gonna let it come into the net. Yep. We're only about five, 10 minutes in. <laughs> what are you gonna do another 10 minutes? You just show herself, she's gonna go again. Yeah. <laughs> You just feel the sheer power of it when you try to lift it up. Like yeah. That, try to raise it, can't you? It's pretty obvious she doesn't like us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna come around the other side here. You know, you always test the string. Can I test your arms here? <laughs> <laughs> gonna go around the other side. Oh, my knees are shaking. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. Oh yeah. Oh wow. It's a nice fish. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's got some length to it. Bull girth too. There. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. <laughs> nice oh. job. Isn't that incredible? Look at that thing, oh, huh? That is cool. Okay. Okay. Get that out of the way. Show this. Oh my. That is a big fish here. Yeah, yeah. Oh my. That is awesome. <laughs> it hey, is. A little slime. Oh on yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little sturgeon slime. Show you how big that is, even like the two of us. I'll get right underneath. Yeah. Look at that thing, huh? Yeah. Oh. All right. Oh. There she swims away. Oh. 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 Oh, I think we need to go eat a sandwich hey, or something. Hey, you want to arm wrestle? <laughs> Take a break. Hey, you want to arm wrestle? Which arm is tight? That one, let's go this side. <laughs> oh, nice job. Wow. Oh, that was cool. A lot of fun. Wow. <laughs> want to do, do it again? Oh, yeah. You know what's cool is, you know, they're stocking these sturgeon. A lot of rivers that historically had them, they're actually stocking. I know Big Stone, Otter Tail, Minnesota River, you know, they're actually trying to bring them back in more places, but what a... Just what a cool fish. It is, it's just awesome and fun. <laughs>
I am a giant. Oh my. Oh. Oh. We got her. We got her. That's a oh giant. Look at that oh. thing. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't oh my goodness. That is a fish is of a, a lifetime. Giant. Fish of a lifetime right there. <laughs> wow. He just caught King Kong. <laughs> that is unbelievable. Oh, okay. Aren't those moles tough? Yeah. Oh my. Oh. I don't even know oh. what to say. That is a fish of a lifetime. <laughs> We're both wore on. We're covered in sturgeon slime. Yeah. We're exhausted. <laughs> We're just reeling lines out of the water for a little bit. Oh. This is just crazy. This is a unbelievable fish. Oh, it is. All right, let's get her in the water. Yep, if you want to. Oh! Ready? And there she goes. Oh. Slime it? <laughs> oh, slime it, baby. <laughs> oh, that was oh, a lot my. of fun. A lot of the efforts the DNR have done has helped this fishery so much as far as these sturgeon. I do believe implementing the slot limit from 45 to 50 inches and only being able to keep one per year has just made a tremendous effect on this. I remember 10, 15 years ago, I'd come out here sturgeon fishing and we'd go three days without even a bite on sturgeon. And now, you know, it's a pretty good chance you can come out here and catch a fish, catch even an, a trophy class fish. I do believe it's because of the slot limit they have put in and the studies they have done and it's made a tremendous effect on it. Look at that, look at that. Whoa! Oh, did you just see that? Unbelievable. Did you just see that? That was amazing. Oh my goodness. That was a big fish too. Oh yeah, this is a big oh, look one. Look at them. Wrapped up in the Yeah, he wrapped up. He, they circle like that and they get wrapped right up. They wrap themselves up. Tell you what, this is an incredible experience. You know, you guys get people that come up here that want to fish for them and you guys guide yep. for them. And, yeah, we guide for them. And, I mean, this is just a, something to put on your list. It's something a lot of our captains do to really look forward after the river run and that for our spring walleye event. They look forward to doing is guiding these things and because it's a lot of fun. They kind of have a little period in between when the lake thaws out and we can get on the lake to this. And even now the lake is thawed out, but we still like to be out here because these things are a lot of fun. Oh my. Yep, come right into it. Yep, nose, right in the nose. It'll come right into it. There, got her, got her, got her. Look at this. This is just, what an incredible day. Incredible. Slime, we're slimed up, we're sweating, we're tired, we're wore out, arms burning. <laughs> I haven't been able to eat. I haven't been able to eat a snack. <laughs> All right. This is unreal. I love it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Our hands are so yeah. slippery we can't even give a high five. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Oh. <sighs> so if you like today's video, make sure that you subscribe, leave your comments below, and we'll try to answer every one of them. But until next week, we'll see you on the water.